Alright, I don't know if anyone can see this. I just opened this bag of Chaffe. Um, some of you have asked about why, whether or not a bag is good. And I thought I'd show you a bad bag. It doesn't happen very often. In fact, this is the one, first I've ever seen this bad. But, um, there's probiotics, but I found a very small hole in the bag. And if you look close, I don't know if it'll show you, you can see the worms in here. Just like a little maggot worm. Um, it smells bad. It smells horrible, in fact. There they are. Can you see those? In any case, this section is not any good, obviously. Um, I'm actually thinking I'm going to take this bag back and have it exchanged because where I can deal with a little bit of mold, I cannot handle this. You can also see how nasty and wet all this is, which is where your larva and things is growing. Um, there's just thousands of little wormies in here. Um, that is very unusual for me to come across a bag like this, but um, yeah, this is pretty nasty. So I won't feed this to my animals. Oh, and here's some gray mold. Yeah, you can see this right here. Um, this is a very nasty, sticky mess, and I, while half the bag smells pretty good, um, I'm not going to take a chance on feeding this to them. So I'm going to set this one aside to take back to the dealer and open another bag. While there may have been some probiotics, this is just um, gummy, gray, uh, it's really nasty actually, extremely nasty. But when I examined the, um, the top for this bag, I found a hole right at the seam um, as it went across here. Just one tiny little pinprick of a hole and this is what it did. Now normally if it's not real bad, I will lift this section out. and. Um, Underneath, a lot of times it's fine, but as nasty as this is, this is soaking wet over here and just smells so foul. I'm not going to give my animals any of this bag. So, hope that helps some of you. Okay, I just opened this bag, um, and unlike the other bag, this one is, while it's slightly damp, it's crumbly and it smells good. Oh, it smells sweet, slightly fermented. That's good chef A. Um, I don't even see any probiotics labeled right here. There's probably some down in the bucket. What I do is I break it up. I have a five gallon bucket here. That's generally enough for most of my herd of goats, um, especially if I leave other hay or they have pasture or something out. And then I just put it in buckets around the, around the yard so that they have places to eat without fighting because they will fight over this. This is like their very favorite food. In fact, <clears throat> this is the gals eating their hay. Um, <laughs> happy as can be. I already put some out so I'm filling a little bit for the boys, um, which is why I opened the other bag. Yeah. They fight over it. This is a favorite. It's kind of what shows you sort of what to expect out of a chef, I guess. Of course, I had the alfalfa chef. Um, when I had the grass chef, it had a different consistency. So, just thought I'd share. I don't see any probiotics in here to show you, but um, if I did, I'd show you. The bag. That